Hi there. I am at 12506 Aurora Basin and um, great community. Here you have a street light, a little discount on your homeowner's insurance. Um, it's going to be beautiful. It's in a different type of community and simply what I mean, it's still gorgeous, but the other one was a gated community. The lots were a little bit larger. The homes were a little bit more extravagant, but my goodness, I mean, you can't go wrong in this type of community either. Um, again, just a lot more congested over in this community, but ultimately, um, you know, it's gonna be about what you guys um, want. So here is my vehicle on the driveway. Okay, so comfortably you can fit two cars. And then you do have a nice um, garage that I can tell is already pre-plumbed for a water softener. And it is a little bit um, wider. So instead of the height here, you're gonna get the width. And that is what we have pointed out um, the first time as well. You still have the eight, four, excuse me, eight foot door in the front. But let me see. So here it's, Okay, now we're back to the eight, excuse me, normal seven foot. Um, this is going to be the study. That's nice. So they don't, I'm assuming they might have some railing. They would have to. There's the garage. So it's not quite, I mean, it is a half wall, but not quite. They did open it up to be able to enjoy, um, really, you know, fill the space. Okay, here's the kitchen. Now on the other one, I know that you guys did like the this um, room right here, because this home as a whole does feel more like a one and a half. Um, but remember, the other property does have the study that you could use as a nursery. This one has the study and the other room downstairs. I'm gonna, well, let's go to the ensuite first. So this is what you are looking at. A lot closer to your neighbors, good sized backyard. There's pros and cons to that as well. And then here is your owner's bathroom. Okay, I've already requested the incentives from both sales reps. And so as I attach the videos, I will also be sending what incentives each builder is offering. Okay, so when you're barbecuing, um, now remember your fence is gonna continue right here. So it will kind of block that vehicle right there. And then you will also have your fence over here. So it's gonna block these neighbors as well. Um, you do have those windows, right? That, you know, people could be looking at you, but who knows? I mean, I'm assuming they don't wanna just be looking at other people all day long. It is a good size backyard, like I said, so is the other one. This one is probably I'm gonna say 20 to 25 feet from the um, back patio to the fence. Um, not quite as big when it comes to the patio as the other one. Here's the other neighbor. So you can see close proximity. So on this side, you have some good space. That's where your AC is gonna go, right where that pad is. This is actually a nice size. If y'all have um, pets, this could be a good dog run. 
Um, looks like it's going to be stucco, three sides, and then the siding on the top. All right, so once more, all personal preference as to what y'all are looking for and what you guys are hoping for in a home. Um, yes, this one does have, like I said, the other um, bedroom down, but the study was not as important to y'all in that other plan. And so you could essentially make that into a bedroom if you needed to or wanted to. So I am going to be emailing you uh, whatever incentives that they uh, send my way along with all of these videos. And I hope this truly has helped you guys in making the um, selection for your home here in Texas. I will be ready and available for any questions that you guys have. I'll talk to y'all soon.